Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing this look. It has finally gotten kind of nice where I'm living, so I'm feeling like very springy slash summery. And I decided to do an eyeshadow look that just has like a little tiny bit of drama and is kind of like bronzy, warm shades and perfect for warmer weather. Um, the main palette that I used today was the Lorac Unzipped Palette, which is a palette I love. And if you would like to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. All right, first things first, we're going to go in with foundation. I am actually going to be going in with the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet. This is, this bottle, I should say, is brand new to me. I was working off of a sample that I got um, at Nordstrom. It just came in like a little thing like this. And then I decided to buy it because I really... I just love Chanel foundation. Um, I also have Vita Lumiere Aqua, so I felt like this was just the next step in my love for Chanel foundation. So we're just going to put this on. I know some people say not to dot foundation on like this, but this is how I prefer to do it. And. I'm just going to go in with a buffing brush to put this on. I'm actually using the Sonia Kashuk one right now because my Coastal Sense one is very dirty right now. And as you guys can see, I kind of tap it on first and then I go in and I buff after that. And my skin, I stopped using that serum like I said in my last video and my skin over here and pretty much everywhere else, I haven't gotten any new breakouts, um, which is fantastic. And I am just now focusing on getting my skin back to a good place. So lots of like reparative masks, stuff to protect against hyperpigmentation, all of that kind of stuff. Whew. And then I'm just going to go in with my typical concealer, the Revlon Age Defying Targeted Dark Spot Concealer Treatment in the shade Light. And I'm just going to put it under the eyes and I'm going to put a little bit over here to help cover up that discoloration on my face. When I'm doing concealer, I do patting and swiping motions. I feel like the combination of the two give the most natural look. And then just to buff everything in, make sure it all looks natural, I'm going to go in with my Real Technique setting brush, which I like to use as a concealer brush. From there, I'm going to go in with what I use every time to set everything. It's my NARS Light Reflecting Powder, and I'm just going to use this large Sonia Kashuk powder brush. And I press over the areas where I've put concealer and then I just wipe over everything else. I know that people will say you should always pat in your powder, but honestly, I don't think it moves your foundation that much. And I'm not placing my foundation with pre really precise movements, so it should be okay. From there, we are going to prime the lids. I have what I use every time, my Trish McAvoy Eye Base Essentials in Demure. I am actually getting close to having to cut this open to get the rest of it out, which is exciting. Then, to achieve my bronze, kind of smoky eye, I don't, I hesitate to call it a smoky eye because it's really just blended. To achieve that look, I'm going to be using the Lorac Unzipped Palette. 
I love Lorac eyeshadows. I think they're amazing. Um, these are pretty much all warm colors, as you can see. And we are just going to start out by taking this shade undercover, and we're just going to put that all over the lid just to get a base for everything. We're just going to go in with a fluffy brush and go into Unspoken and just put that into the crease. Now I'm focusing more of this on the outer corner since my eyes aren't particularly close set, but I always want them to look wider. So I focus more color on the outside corner. Then I'm going to go in with a flatter brush and I am going to put the shade Undiscovered, this one, and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. And then just go back in with that fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend the edges just a tiny bit. All right, and then we are going to go in with this shade Unattainable right here. And we are just going to put that into kind of like the outer half of the lid. And I'm just using a fluffy brush for that as well. A different one, a clean one. And I'm just doing this to darken up the color a little bit, make it a little bit more multifaceted, a little bit more interesting. So that's just helped make it a little deeper on the lid. And then we are actually going to go in with this shade, Uncensored, and we're going to put that into about the outer third. And for that, I'm actually going to use a different brush. I'm going to use this shadow liner brush from Smashbox. All right, so that brush really is not working. It's not picking up the color. I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna switch back to a fluffy brush. And the perk of using a fluffy brush while you do this is that it helps blend as you go. And then I am going to take, um, I think I'm gonna go back in with Unspoken just a little bit and just put a little bit more work from that into the crease just to help blend everything else out a little bit more. And then taking a smaller brush I'm going to actually start with this um, small detail brush from Coastal Scents, and I'm just going to go back in with Uncensored, which is this color, this dark brown, and I'm going to start putting that on the outside corner of my lower lash line.
And then I'm just going to take Unreal, which is this color right here, and I'm going to put that in the tear duct and under the eye a little bit. And then just to blend everything else out, I'm going to go back with Unspoken, which is my matte kind of tan color. I'm going to blend everything under the eye. All right, and now that we are done with eyes, it is time to move on to brows. I am going to brush through them with a spoolie. And then I am actually going to be using my Sephora waterproof eyebrow pencil in Midnight Brown, and I've kind of been loving like really intense like dude eyebrows, so I'm going to be filling my eyebrows in a little bit more than I usually do. So now that I have my brows filled in, I am just going to go in with my e.l.f. clear brow gel and I'm just going to gel them down because I have unruly, crazy, long man brows. From there, I am going to go in with contour. I am just using what I have constantly been using recently and that is the NYX taupe blush. And what I have been using for a contour brush recently is this Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, it's not the highest quality item that I've ever owned, but it does work fairly well, and it came in a kit with all of those other brushes that you saw me use today. And ever since I've started contouring more and more, there is no such thing as light contour for me anymore on my cheeks. I just do a heavy contour pretty much every single day, 24-7, 365. After that, I am going to go in with a blush. And today I am just really, really feeling Luminoso from Milani. Luminoso just gives everyone a very nice, natural flush, um, especially for pale girls. I don't know if you're a lot darker skinned, it might not work the same way, but it's drugstore, it's like $7, so it's kind of worth checking out. I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks and then work it back. And then I am going to go in and I can finally not have to say that this is limited edition anymore because they brought it back. So the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I am going to use the middle shade right here which is incandescent and I'm just going to put that under my eyes as a highlight kind of in the middle of my forehead, down the center of my nose, chin.
And then, since it is a lovely spring day, I'm actually going to take Radiant, which is the bronzy shade, and I'm just going to take that on the edge of my hairline and kind of over my contour and a little bit on my nose. And I use this very, very lightly, just so you know. For the lips, I am going to go in with my NYX Lip Liner in Natural, my Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in Madeira, and then I am going to go over it with this Buxom Lip Cream in Mudslide. And then I fill my lips in just a little bit with natural. And then Madeira. And whenever I do a nude lip, I really like to blend it out with my fingers just a little bit, just to help it look a little bit more natural and not so, like, painted on. And then just, oop, just to give it a little bit of shine, I'm going to be going in with the um, full-on lip cream in Mudslide from Buxom. And then, last but not least, I just always save this to the end, I am going to be going in with my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara and coating both top and bottom lashes. And here you have the finished look. I hope that you guys had a great time watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below for me. If you liked this, feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel for more videos. I try to put out at least one a week. And if you would like to find me on any sort of social media, you can find the links for those down below as well. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.